Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bossa De Santos, your daily podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bossa De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 8 19 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. Hello friends and fellow world changers, welcome to today's episode of Tethered Thoughts with Bossa De Santos. Trust your day was great yesterday. Today's topic is my true treasure, my true treasure. The psalmist expresses deep gratitude and reverence towards God who had shown extraordinary kindness and wisdom. He acknowledges his past mistakes and wandering, that's, you know, just wandering about away from God, but now recognizes the value and beauty in following God's teachings and guidance. He expresses a desire to learn from God, to gain insight and understanding, and to be led by his word. Despite facing opposition and criticism from others, the psalmist remains steadfast in his commitment to following God's commands. He views the challenges and discipline he's experienced as valuable lessons that have helped him understand God's ways better. Ultimately, he finds immense worth in God's words and teachings, valuing them above material wealth. John tells us that from the beginning of time, the word was and the word was with God and the word was God. The psalmist in earnest is asking to walk with God himself moment by moment. And John tells us God's words are spirit and life, in other words, creative in their ability. The same force out of which God created the world. What a treasure God has given us. Beyond any wealth, his word is the ultimate possession. He teaches us to create any amount of wealth we could ever conceive. His word is the power by which he sustains the whole world. So we know everything that could ever be is dependent on the word of God. Is it a wonder angels cannot fathom God's allegiance to this being whom he created in his image? I'm so overcome with gratitude at the magnitude of of God's love uh, uh, shown towards humanity. He gave us his all, his name, his word, his authority, himself. What a treasure. Now today, our takeaways are that value of God's infinite, matchless wisdom. The psalmist longs for it. Thank God, he promises to lavish his wisdom on anyone who asks for it. I want it, don't you? As Christians, life challenges are actually our best friend, believe it or not. If engaged with wisely, they move us closer to God and to the next level of our lives. James said it, that we should count it all joy when we fall into diverse trials. Growth happens in times of affliction. Spiritual wealth far outweighs our world, any worldly wealth, and we're far better with, with, um, with it if we want to be successful in life. That's we're far better with spiritual wealth than worldly wealth if we want to succeed in life. In conclusion, as we've been gaining from Psalm 119, the word of God is our ultimate treasure. And regardless of our past, we can trust in his love for us and the faithfulness and his faithfulness towards us. He is the source of all things good. Here's a confession um, to meditate on throughout today. God 
is good to me. He trains me in wisdom. I am committed to living his way. I keep in step with his word. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these truths, please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcast. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says the world is waiting for us to demonstrate God. So go out and make a difference today, even if it's just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you and God bless. Have a successful day and see you again tomorrow.